Hello, how's everybody doing today? I am having a great day. I am not wearing makeup, but I am not here to talk about makeup right now. Exactly. I just had the most awesome workout class with Patty Markowski. She teaches bar and mountain home and it's like no impact. It's kind of like you're doing yoga slash ballet type moves and there is like no impact and it's really really cool so hi good morning anyway i'm gonna do a short little demo just showing the first base makeup primer and the 10 years younger finishing spray on my arm my friend Alyssa did this and it was really really cool hey alicia alicia i love you i'm having the best day and i love talking to you so i just wanted you to know that there is something to be said about people that are there for you and are always there for you and you're one of those people and I really appreciate that I love you to pieces okay so I'm gonna do this I'm gonna take the first base makeup primer put it on my arm wait I think you're supposed to like you know, do this on one arm and not do like I won't put anything on this arm but I'm just gonna do it over there hey Cindy how are you today what are you doing up there it is so bright and sunny here. I'm dying to take the kids swimming, but I can't take all three swimming by myself. So I'm looking to get another kiddie pool for the yard. I know, I can't wait to see you this week too. Okay, so I have put the primer spray on this arm and I've not put it on this arm. I'm going to take brownie points, which is a super duper dark eyeshadow I'm gonna put it on this arm Let me see okay there's no primer spray on that one but I'm gonna put primer spray on this one now I want you to know that I've seen this done but I've never done this myself so if it fails horribly I'll just take down the video and feel stupid but you know what <laughs> I don't even care anymore I'm having one of those days where I'm just like <laughs> You know, I have a friend that I grew up with who's a cancer. I love cancers. They are so loving and encouraging. We were having the funnest conversation today about signs in our um, chat, in our limelight chat. It was so funny. And it's just like right on. I'm going to put this right here. Um, we were talking about the different signs. Like, I'm a Virgo. Okay, there's it without primer. There's it with primer. I'm a Virgo. And um, like most of my best friends that I've ever had growing up were cancers like my really close friends because they they comfort me and nurture me you know they always like really loving and and everything like that and I, I grew up like really insecure okay so I think that already right away you can see a little bit of a difference because this one looks lighter than that one but anyway um what sign are you Alicia what sign are you Christy I'm a Virgo I like details you wouldn't know it a lot but I'm a very very loving person I'm a very giving person um, some of the drawbacks to that are I tend to um, get hurt because I can give too much and you know that kind of happens hey Lori how are you today okay so this one doesn't have a primer on it that one does hi Kim okay now I'm gonna take the 10 years younger finishing spray that's a setting spray and I'll put it on that arm but anyway we we're talking about different signs and I like cancers a lot because they're very nurturing and Gemini and Pisces. Okay, I don't know a lot about Gemini and Pisces, so you guys will have to tell me more about that. Um, but my husband is a Scorpio. My mom is a Scorpio. My daughter Evie is a Scorpio. And let me tell you something right now. Those people are some very intense people. And that can be really, really, really good and really, really, really bad. <laughs> I was telling my friends earlier today that... Um, my mom's a Scorpio. When she got mad, she used to scare the far out of me. I mean, she's scary. You're a Cancer. Oh, I love that, Kim. I was just saying some of my bestest friends I've ever had in my whole life are Cancers. They're so nurturing and loving and consistent. Sometimes they can be like a little, um, I don't know if you felt this way, but in the past I've found that if sometimes they don't feel like they're getting enough attention, they can get really upset. Um, like they'll love you and give everything they got but they expect it back and if you you know spread your love out to them with other friends they can get kind of jealous i am detailed and ocd i think that also comes from my mom i don't think like when things fall through which one are you christy let me scroll back down hey angela hey melissa uh let's see i don't see it 
Melissa, what's your sign? I'm dying to know this because I know Melissa very well. I know quite a bit about Melissa. She's a ball of fun. I don't know a lot about Angela yet, but I'm, I know that she's passionate and she likes to get crap done. So what's your sign, Angela? This is fun. This stuff, it still feels like it's wet, but I'm telling you what, this setting spray is like no joke. Pisces, okay, all right. Leo, oh, I've known Leos. You guys are strong and you want your way and you're gonna get stuff done. Yeah, very dominant sign, very dominant. <laughs> oh, Christina just sent me a message with hearts. I love you, See my, how do you make a heart? I love you. <laughs> me too, Pisces. Okay, all right, Christy. Now, I've known Melissa a lot, uh, more in depth than I know you, Christy. I've known you for a long time, but I know Melissa on this whole other level because we were in babysitter group together and those groups can get really um, personal and you really get to know people. So now I know even more about Christy just, just because of that. You like to have fun? I bet you do. <laughs> I know Melissa does. Okay, all right, so let's try this out. This is the eyeshadow without the primer. It's real light, but I don't think I can see much of it moving. I don't know. This is some seriously pigmented freaking eyeshadow. Baby Center. Yes, that's how I met Alicia. Baby Center is like the most fun. Okay, now I know a lot of you guys had kids before Baby Center came around, and some of you guys are just now having kids. But if you ever get the chance to go back and um, look at a baby center if you're if you're still having kids it's a wonderful place to get to know people um, and you can assume a fake name and you can just like share details like oh I feel nauseous today in my early pregnancy or I think I'm having contractions and everybody's this they're talking about everything that they're going through and and it's really nice you know because it's like there's somebody else that's going through the same exact thing that you are and I think that's why a lot of us carried over in a limelight because we had that support system and that sisterhood and just the ability to talk to people that are going through the same things you are, and it's, it's really, really nice. Okay, so here's the one, and I already got a smudge when I put it on, so now I'm gonna wipe my hand on it. Okay, all right, so you can see that's like going nowhere, and I'm rubbing it as hard as I can, like, oh. <laughs> okay, so you can see a little bit of a difference here. This is the eyeshadow without the primer or anything. Does the eyeshadow stay put? Yeah, look at it, I'm rubbing it off. <laughs> it's like going nowhere it's real light though I mean I put on pretty much the same amount but on this arm I use the primer spray and the setting spray yeah look at that I'm telling you what these sprays are no joke and you know what else I like about this when you put on the primer spray somebody said this has aloe in it um, I'm trying to see Probably should have read that before I got online, but that's okay. All right, so when you put on the primer spray, it's gonna help to try to keep your foundation in place more, but you know what else I really like about it? Is if you look at your nose, if you get really, really close to your nose, you got like pores. And I don't know about you, but in my, I don't know if it's from having kids or, or being out in the sun or what it is, but it's like those pores tend to get bigger. And so when you put on that primer spray, it helps to kind of smooth it out and hold on your um, foundation. And the setting spray, I started using it because, you know, when you, once you put your foundation on and then you put on your blush and your eyeshadow and stuff, it's not attaching itself to the primer spray, I don't think, because you've got your foundation there, so you need something to put on top to hold it all into place. So the setting spray, I started putting it on, excuse me, especially now that it started getting warm outside because I can sweat more and I don't want this stuff going anywhere. So... I've started doing the primer spray and then I put on the foundation and then I put on the setting powder to give it more of a matte look and then I put on the um, setting spray to hold everything in place and I really like that. Yay, baby center. Yeah. My nephew is laying here watching you too. He's mesmerized. How old is he? Look at that. That's some seriously dark stuff right there. <laughs> now, I don't know. Maybe I did apply that lighter. I don't know. Let me see. Okay, so I put like brownie points on there. And I'm gonna put that on there again. Oh. And you can make it darker, you know, but 
looks pretty much the same. No, it still looks a lot darker here with the primer and the setting spray. And I put on more than one layer. All right, so now is a good time to use a makeoff wipe, and then I'm going to get off of here. Okay, so these are our little makeoff wipes, and if you've never tried these, let me know because I got a box of 80, and I will send you one, and they're incredible. They're, like, really durable, like, like a bounty commercial, and you just take it, and it gets everything off. And I like these because I have a really hard time, like, regular face wash doesn't really get off my mascara and eyeliner. Um, but these things do and like I the only thing I left on my face from yesterday was a little bit of Wonder Brow and like these things will get them off too see I have like really no eyebrows you guys probably don't know that because I usually wear them in all my posts I darken them up I use limelight or I use a L'Oreal eyeliner or I use a Wonder Brow but these things go forever and if you want to save money, you can just use half of it. And then you take your little package that it comes in like that. And I really highly suggest these individually wrapped ones, not the ones with the pop-up pack. Put it back in there. You can take a rubber band and just put it like right around there. And then you can use it again the next day because they are so big and they're just really wet and it feels really good on your skin, takes off your makeup. And it's awesome. And then you can go through the um, process of washing your face and putting on your moisturizer and all that other stuff. So anyway, that's all I have today. That was fun. It worked. Yay. I'm very excited. Enjoy your wonderful day. It is sunny and gorgeous out here. Bye.